the fact we've got to 14,000 plus children being buried alive, burned to death um, in, in the most hideous way possible, and that's been normalized. But the failure of lots of people to speak out and take a stand yeah. has shocked me in a way that I can't even, you know, I've never been shocked in that way in my entire life. But there's no going back. No. I mean, after the Iraq war, you'll remember, I went on for years writing about Iraq was the biggest moment of my life, politically, morally, in every way. It formed who I am in many ways. And people said to me, are you still banging on about Iraq? We've got to move on. Stop talking about Iraq. And I would say, no, 100,000 people no, were dead. He... The geopolitical consequences are huge. The domestic political, some, some would say Trump was president thanks to Iraq. And I feel Gaza. I feel Gaza is the same way. I'm not going to move on from Gaza. If people think we're going to move on from Gaza, we're not. No, I mean, there was that, always that racism about the Iraq war and people like rolling their eyes, still going on about uh, th that, are you? And they're going to do that for Gaza. Of course. And of you course. and I can't let them. But we, I think this is why this matters because in the 20, 21st century, everything you and I and people like us said about all these catastrophic military adventures have been, we've been vindicating the worst possible way because yep. all we've got to show for it is a lot of dead people. Yep. And these people walk from crime scene to crime scene, yep. splattered with more blood as they do, yep. calling for more blood, and they're still presented as men of moderation or women of moderation, respectability. I think that is changing, though. Yeah. If you look at the way that Biden is chased by protesters, you look at the way his junior officials in his administration are interrupted by protesters, often Jewish protesters, I should point out, young Jewish yeah, activists. Best. I think that is going to haunt them. And the way that Blair still gets stopped in public, you know, when he's going out to it, I think this will follow them for, for decades. It has to. It has I think to. this is actually a big tipping point in terms of how a lot of people frankly see the media. I think the media coverage has just been so gratuitously racist and not showing the reality of what Israel's war crimes it, actually are. It's the perfect moment for someone to start an alternative media organization. I do like the way you've become like the... I've always seen you as a kind of Rupert Murdoch of the left, actually, with your burgeoning <laughs> media empire. You're Macaulay Culkin, I'm Rupert Murdoch. That's a I'll fair, that's a fair swap.